Hey guys, down here at Blackfoot Motorsports, and I can't believe it, I didn't know this, nobody told me. They took out the other track. I guess not enough people are using it, and they need more parking or something, but man, that flattened right out, all gone. Couldn't believe it. At least this one is still here, this is the one I mainly drive on. I'm gonna maybe rip the digger around on her. It's freezing, my fingers are freezing right now. I work till noon, it's noon now, Brandon Ice Master Yeti. There's the one fifth scale over there, probably won't be on that today with the digger, it's a little little slow and small for that thing. Scale park over there. I got the uh, the D90 for its first trip out since I did the upgrades on it. It's really cold. Now, now the biggest problem I think I'm going to run into with the uh, with the D90 is that I changed the shocks over to those uh, slash shocks. They're off the front of a slash. Um, they're good size and they're going to be tough as nails. I don't think I'll ever break them. I'm not worried about them falling apart like they do on an actual slash because they're never going to go through the beating they do on a short course. But the height looks good, right? Like that's not bad. It's a good height. I'm going to put slightly larger tires on it. Thing is that they're really stiff. Like they don't want to return as good as a normal shock. So I have to play with fluid and then that disc or piston that's in the middle of the shock. I'm probably going to have to pull those out and drill some holes in them. Maybe some lighter fluid. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try it out here in a bit. And of course, she's a D90. Uh, almost anything from RC Full Drive. It's a 5 or 10 minute prep to take everything apart and then uh, plug it in and then put it back together again. So I'm going to do that. And by the time I do that, hopefully Brandon's here. Oh, this is cool. Scotty. I guess Scotty did this last week. Oh, Robert? Yeah. This little section here. Put in the short course ESC. Apparently it's a squealer. Short course, like the castle? Yeah. In here? Yeah. What kind of motors? Cool. Huh, I had a sidewinder in my, uh, but I had a 4600 kilovolt motor because I had, it's the first time I put a brushless set up in one of these, I didn't know. run the same battery out of this truck in it and it just swells them but it's got bigger heavier tires and usually the trail trucks don't get affected by C rating too much over overcharging or over uh, over usage hmm. over, over it's tight yeah I don't know about this one. I got itty bitty itty tires and plastic wheels, so I got no bottom weight, all top weight. <laughs> That's a pretty aggressive trail right there. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta go grab my little thin gloves. Yeah. I need bigger tires. Too, the bugger. <laughs> Louie. 
SS Louis, Sean. Excited to go tomorrow. I haven't been out trailing in a while. Yeah, I'm looking forward to dressing up warmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know who Rookie is, eh? The guy I hang out with all the time? Uh, you don't know. Probably know him to see him. Probably. He might come. Nice. What does he drive? He's got one of these. Sweet. He's like me. He's got like 20 of them, but he's got one of these. <laughs> Yeah, I got quite the collection going too. That's all right. Can't have just one. No. What bumper do you got on there? RC four wheel drive. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called anymore. I got lazy. <laughs> I made everything else, and then I was like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> With snow sucks. Yeah. Fuck, it's cold. Nice thing is we sell Milwaukee's so I'm pricing out some of those heated jackets. <laughs> yeah. Those things are sweet. And they run 12 volt with a shitty battery, so guess what I'm gonna do? Fight folk. Yeah. Kind of fairly is that? RC four drive. I like that bumper. Is that the? That's the ARB from RC four drive. Stuck good. There we go. Just had to pull from the right angle. Yeah, get your move. Get your wheel down a bit. <laughs> 